opposition was at one of those revolting little progressive colleges in the East, where they offered a curriculum of what they called functional education. Educators, I am sure, have despaired of ever teaching students anything, so they have decided that the second best thing to do is to try to understand them. Every day there would be a meeting with everyone on the entire faculty with whom the students had any contact, from the president down to the chambermaid, and we would put our collective heads together and try to figure out why little Jane or little Mary wasn't getting out of her classes what she should. To suggest that she wasn't studying enough, or that was too simplistic. And to imply that perhaps she simply didn't have the brains for college education, well, that was being undemocratic. My dear, I have disapproved of my entire life. Really? Yes. But I suppose I couldn't resist living it all over again. Then you resigned from that position. One day, I decided I had enough. I blithely walked into the dean's office and I said, Sir, I graduated magna cum laude from the University of Chicago. I studied at Oxford on a Rhodes Scholarship. I returned to take my PhD at Harvard, which I received with the highest honors. I think I've earned the right to expect my students to try to understand me. And what did he say? Oh. I didn't wait for a response. I walked out the door and I went to the railroad station where I got a ticket to the farthest place I could think of, which happened to be Las Vegas. <laughs> And I've been traveling ever since. It's a merry way to go to the pot. I thought I might be a teacher one day, but you don't make it sound very attractive. Oh, suit yourself. Don't let me influence you one way or the other. <clears throat> You're a very lovely girl. Well, thank you, Dr. Lyman. Did you say you plan to go to Topeka tomorrow? You mean today? Yes. I have a ticket to hear the Kansas City Symphony. Ah. You say you stay with your sister when you're there. I stay with my sister there, and then I take an early morning bus back here on Monday to go to school and work for Grace. Did you say there was a university in Topeka? Washburn University. Washburn University, of course. You know, it just occurs to me. I should stop there and check on a reference on a piece of research I'm engaged in. Well, I've been to Washburn Library lots of times. You have? Well, perhaps you would take me. I mean... No, I'll be in Topeka before you. You can meet your bus. If you really want me to. Yeah, you could take me to the library, and then perhaps we could have dinner together. And perhaps, if you'll permit me, I'll take you to the symphony. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Why do you ask? Usually older people don't have time for us kids. Well, then may I depend on it that we have an engagement? Oh, yes, that'll be lots of fun. Oh, uh, but my dear, let's not tell anyone of our plans, shall we? <laughs> Why not? Well, I've been married, and I'm somewhat older than you, though perhaps not quite as old as you might take me to be. In any way, some people might not understand. Oh. So keep our plans to ourselves. Honestly. Okay, if you think best. I think best. 